guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite iOS 11 features. Now iOS 11 has been out for quite a couple of weeks now and I've actually had it for about 5 months and I've literally tried to film this video about 3 times and every single time I've hated it. One of the reasons being that I filmed it and there was terrible lighting. The second reason was that I tried to film it on holiday. If you haven't watched my Gun on Holiday vlog, there'll be an annotation just up there. The microphone wasn't in sync with the camera, so I did try to edit in, but it just didn't look right. And then, it turns out that the camera then failed on me halfway through, I didn't even know it, and it stopped recording. So, here we are, trying to film it for the fourth time. You know what they say, fourth time lucky, because that's how the saying goes. And yes, yeah, so basically today I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite RS11 features for the full time. Let's get on with the video. So first of all, I've noticed that there seems to be kind of like a new look concerning the logos. So the Contacts app has now got an updated logo with a male and female on it. As well as the camera. I really like this camera logo because it really does add that sort of modern look. Really like it. iTunes Store has got a new logo. And App Store which I've just realised looks like three lolly sticks. No, like the lolly sticks you get on a lolly. Hmm. Interesting. In the extras app, in the extras folder even, um, Calculator's got a new app. I think that's pretty much all. Oh, oh, obviously we now have the files app, which actually I really do like. So Apple are now trying to because they say that the iPad is now going to replace your laptop, for me that's not the case, but they're trying to make it all connected a little bit more, so this is now the Files app, which is kind of like the Finder if you have a Mac or a MacBook, as you can basically just share files between your phone, your iPad and your laptop or Mac or whatever, and you can basically just share files between them all, which I think is really, really handy. That's just one of the features that I really like, and second of all, I can actually say it because it's not connected to power, but Hey Siri is a lot quicker. Before she used to take absolutely forever, but yeah, she's a lot quicker now, so let's test it out. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Here's the forecast for today. And thanks for giving away my location, I'll just blur that out. But yeah, so it's a lot faster now, and I can't actually remember what accent this Siri is, but I think it's American. I don't know why, but it is. So Siri is a lot quicker and it does actually have a lot more accessibility with third party apps so I can now, I don't know if you could do this before but I can now tell it to send things through Instagram, through Twitter, through Facebook and I can tell it to send tweets if I'm playing a video game and I don't really want to tweet then I can just tell Siri to which yes might make me lazy but is it useful? Incredibly. So one of the main, main features especially because obviously the iPhone X is coming out soon, super excited for it. But the latest major upgrade for the iOS 11 update is the control center. Now I love this control center, I much prefer it than the old one. The old one just seemed too, I don't know what the word is, I want to say clunky, but I don't think that's the right word for it, but we'll just call it clunky. So even though I have an iPhone 6, I can still peek in, as they like to call it, I can still peek in and get more settings through the control center. I have more accessibility. And obviously I can control the lock and do not disturb. And that one thing I do really, really love is that when I hold in the brightness and the volumes, I can change the brightness as well as the volume. And another thing is that you can now change the stages of things. So if I peek in to the torch, I can change it to stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. I can also do it for time, so I can set different timers very quickly. With calculator, I can copy the last result. Result? Result. And with the camera, I can take a selfie, record video, record slow-mo and take a photo. And one thing that I really, really love, and I've said this quite a lot in this video, but one thing that is really super exciting, especially for YouTubers and vloggers and anyone really, is the now the new screen record. So right now I am actually using screen record, where before I'd have to have my MacBook here and I would use a lightning cable to my laptop and I'd have to use QuickTime to record my phone. Now I can actually use screen record. So this is just a wireless screen 
I'll just slide up, press it, 3, 2, 1, and then once I'm finished with it, it'll just save to my photos. Now one thing that I don't like about this is that it does have to use your storage, so your storage will get taken up quite easily, and because this is only a 16GB phone, yeah, my storage gets fills up really, really quickly. So if I, yeah, see, oh, I've actually got more storage than I thought I had, for some reason. Well, when I looked at that just a couple of seconds ago, it said that I had 11 gigabytes used of 16. Well, there you go. I suddenly just gained storage out of nowhere. But one good thing is that if you go into the settings app and go into control center, you now have more customization with the controls in the control center. So you now have so many different options that you can use. So you have alarm accessibility shortcuts, Apple TV remote, do not disturb while driving. I'll get onto that in a little while. Guided access, never use that, I don't know what it is. Low power mode, magnifier, notes, stopwatch, text size, voice memos, and wallet. So I think this is absolutely amazing how you can now add more things into the control center and it's all just on one page so that you don't have to slide across to a page that you want to go to just so that you can use the things that you want to use. Now I just slide up, it's all there ready for me to use. Remember what I was saying, how the screen record was a lot easier than plugging it into your MacBook? Yeah, I was wrong. So what actually happened is that for some reason my recording has not saved and I've basically lost the recording. So the first half of this video is probably going to be pictures. But now I'm going to get my MacBook and I'm going to plug it in. So I will see you guys in a second. That hurt. Let's try again. And it actually turns out that my MacBook is on 22%. So this video is going really, really well. So basically, what I was saying before, and this cable is now going to get on my nerves, is that actually, what was I saying before? Basically, I think I was saying that there was a lot of customization that you could use in the control center, which I think is brilliant. And then of course my screen record then cut out, so I won't be using that. But anyway, one thing that I have noticed about RS11 is that even though it is officially out to the public so you can now download it, is that I feel like as if it's still in beta because there has been so many people complaining about just about RS11, it just doesn't work because there's been so yes, basically there's been a lot of people complaining that the iOS 11 just doesn't work because it's been crashing, it's been shutting down their phone, it's just been messing up their phone completely and I don't know if Apple wants us them to do that so that they have to buy a new phone or pay them to get it repaired but Apple seriously sought it out because I have been really annoyed with them recently and because I've just been having loads of conversations with different people and to be honest, it's just, ugh, they need to decide what they're doing. But anyway, more on that in a different video. This video is about RS11. So as I was saying before, do not disturb while driving is a fan absolute brilliant feature. Now it's not obviously going to affect me that much, but what it will do is that if you turn this on, it will like judge of when the car is moving. And when the car is moving, it will then ask you to turn it on. Now when it's turned on it means that nobody can contact you so it's just like do not disturb except it will just say you cannot use your phone while you are driving full stop. Nobody can contact you while you're driving whatsoever but then of course if there's an emergency the thought of this surprisingly is that now you can text urgent through it and it will then go through to the phone and it will pop up so if it is urgent there is that option there. But yes, yeah, so basically means you can't use your phone at all while you're driving until you have stopped completely. Then you can pick up your phone, go on it. But as soon as you get driving again, that's it. It's turned off, you can't use it. So I think that's a fantastic feature, especially for safety reasons when um, elder or elder, older people are driving, or older than me, so that they basically don't crash their car. But to be honest, there's not really much anything else to say apart from the new features new logos um, and to be honest I think that's pretty much about it 
there's not really anything else to say apart from I've actually decided to do a really exciting thing so the week of Halloween so I think I'm probably going to do Thursday until Halloween day so not next Thursday Thursday after and then the Tuesday after that is in Halloween I think let me check yeah so on the 26th no yeah on to the on the 26th of October until the 31st I think I'm going to do a week of Halloween videos now I've got the ideas in my mind and I just need to film them edit them so that they're ready but I think that's going to be really really exciting to do so if you guys do want that make sure you do leave a thumbs up on this video below so that I know that you do want this and I'm not going to lie I've started planning for Christmas already and yes I have been listening to Christmas songs do not judge I love Christmas so if you guys do want to see Halloween videos from the 26th of August until the 31st then make sure you leave a like because they're not just going to be regular videos they're going to be kind of like baking videos but not baking because I'm actually a really really good cook but I tried to make a cooking video before and it went terribly it was absolutely disastrous and I will show you in my first Halloween video with what happened but yeah so if you guys do want to see my disastrous attempt of baking a cake this was a simple cake then drop a like on this video and wait until the 26th of August where I will show you guys but guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I do want to try and get 100 subscribers before Christmas and it's only wait hey Siri how many weeks away is Christmas it's 10 weeks 10 weeks until Christmas, so 10 weeks to hit the, no, yep, 40 sub subscribers is going to be extremely hard, so guys, if you're not subscribed already, because 75% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you have not subscribed yet and you're watching this video, make sure you go down there and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up, and let me know down in the comment section below if you have any video ideas that I'm looking, that you want me to do, because I will be extremely interested. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Gamat Gaming, Twitter, Gamat Gaming, and Snapchat, Gamat Gaming. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and you will see me in my next video. See you later.